Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. My name is Connor, and with me is Bob. Hey, this is my final intro line. And today, the two of us are starting a Powerpuff Girls story called I'll Live Forever With You All right. by Jay Simone. And, uh, well, can I say before I read the description, look at that picture. Yeah. I believe that's supposed to be Sexy Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> oh. I think that is actually what uh, that is. Yes, I think. Wow. <laughs> and okay. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> the, the description. Blossoms alone. Her sisters and dad leaves her. She attempts to... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> To kill herself and ends up reuniting with an old enemy slash friend. He turns her into a vampire. Oh. She goes through a lot of drama and fighting to live in happiness once I, again. I can see that. Vamp vampire fanfic up for adoption. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Setting our standards low before we get to Before it. we yeah. get started, I just a thought. Mm -hmm. Could we maybe start a, a fanfiction adoption agency? Maybe. A pairing fanfics up for adoption with people looking to for, continue to adopt a fanfic fanfics. up for adoption. That, and then we make them pay money, and we make Mad Moolah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they steal their mom's CC uh -huh. and, and give us that money. Mm, mm, I like that part of the plan. I really like that part of the plan. Let's yeah. see if this story should go. For I like making money. Yeah, yeah. so uh, Blossom's POV. And by the way, I'm not going to be trying to do female voices for the. But you you are going to play the Powerpuff Girls. I, uh, yes. I'll be playing the Rowdy Rough Boys. Yes, Blossom's POV. Looking ahead isn't the best thing to do, especially when your sisters leave you suddenly with no goodbyes. Your father commits suicide, and <laughs> nobody seems to love you, and you have an incurable disease. I look oh. down into the water. I needed to escape this horrible life. I felt tears flow down my eyes. I looked down at the raging sea. Goodbye, I said, jumping into the water and fell to my death. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What a start. Yeah, it's not the landing that kills you. It is the fall in this case. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah in this case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, Bricks POV. The storm was raging as I went hunting. I smelled a familiar hairspray. <laughs> Strawberry. I picked up on the scent. I followed my nose and saw a certain gingered hair girl who stole my unbeating heart. What? <laughs> 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 Blossom. What? <laughs> this is so generically edgy. God. Yeah. She was standing on the edge of the cliff. She cast herself down. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. She looked down at the water and I heard her heart pound. She was afraid. Wow. <laughs> you ha is, I, her yeah, heart, I guess her heart, her heart was got pounding. Super hearing. Not just that, her heart was pounding in Morse code. She it pounded yeah. out the phrase, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, she, she was afraid. Thump, 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 thump. Thump, 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 thump. <laughs> what is an extended thump? Yeah. It, it's the dashes instead of the dots. Yeah, but how do you do do that. It's not very carefully. It's not good for you. I mean, that's, um, that's true. all I'm yeah, saying. That's true. You she was like, afraid. You don't want your heart to be beaten in Morse code. That's true. Those are called palpitations. Yeah. Goodbye, she said. <laughs> she jumped and fell into the water. I ran until I jumped in the water. <laughs> it's better that you're not running while you're jumping. Yeah. I saw her body sink. That's not how anything worked. I grabbed her and pulled her back up. I flew back up to the top of the cliff. I laid her dying body on the ground and looked at her. She opened her eyes. Brick, am I dead? <laughs> no, you numb nuts. You're not even unconscious. <laughs> She remembered it way differently. She remembered falling to her death, but Brick remembers like her not being dead at I all. I mean, literally, as soon as she hits the ground, he jumps in and grabs her and swims to the top. Like, yeah, like it, it wasn't very long. Right. She was alive all the way till she hit the water. Right. Right. So she would have had to have. I don't know. Like she has a continuous memory of mm -hmm. what just happened she's overly dramatic she's like i fell into the water and i totally died yeah but i didn't brick yeah. oh my me. god i'm going to die yeah oh my god i totally died <laughs> but you're here to tell you're us the tell story. yeah and it was literally moments ago <laughs> she asked faintly no 
but you'll be halfway dead soon. I said, chuckling. Oh. <laughs> you just tried to kill yourself. <laughs> that was a good time for me to tell jokes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, can you drop me back in the water? <laughs> She's so cheap. No, no, I said <laughs> stupid. You don't, dumb, dumb. No, I'm not gonna throw you back. If I wanted you dead, I, I would wouldn't leave even you. come after Why you. Why did I even get you? <sighs> oh, I didn't realize you meant to shove. Oh, sorry. I thought you tripped. Now that I know you wanted to be there. <laughs> Bye. You know, Blossom, that was a really bad dive if that's what you were trying to do, you know. Uh, that wasn't a good way to enter the water. Maybe I can teach you how to dive yeah. more gracefully. <laughs> she can fly. Yeah. <sighs> no, I said. She just looked at the sky. <laughs> well, I'm dying anyway, so might as well. <laughs> She's like, I'm dying. <laughs> Blossom has cancer. Oh. She was slowly dying. Thanks, Brick, for telling us that and not Blossom. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess she did say an incurable disease, yeah. but... No, you're not going to die, I said. <laughs> it's... It's uncurable. Brick! My sisters and father left me, and I feel as if the world hates me. Wow, I... Wow. Don't you love it when they just announce their feelings? Yeah, that's yeah. Great. Those these are my intentions, reader. I am telling you what I think. These are the conflicts, reader. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Exposition. Yeah. She yelled, "But I know how you can escape." I said, "How?" She said, "Your sisters are gonna hate me, but no but, ellipsis yeah. or anything. Yeah. Just that's mm -hmm. it." I started, and then I bit her neck. I oh. felt her heart beat fast. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry, Buttercup, and Bubbles, <laughs> but she deserves to live. I said as I saw Blossom turn into what she'd never believe. A vampire. And that was chapter one. What will she do? Try to kill herself. Yeah, try to kill herself. I guess and we should have read the chapter title before. Uh, yeah, and, and then you'll turn her into a vampire. Great. Great. <laughs> this story's got everything. I don't understand why you had Brick turn her into a vampire when you never explained how Brick became a vampire. <laughs> that's like, not... Why couldn't you just start with Blossom as a vampire? That's not needed. You don't need to know how Brick became a vampire. I guess because that dumb, edgy scene of her throwing herself off a cliff, that was the thing they wanted to write. Right. They don't actually want to write any any of the consequences of this. They don't want Which to, is why the story's up for adoption. They don't want to deal with, you know, how Brick became a vampire first. Right. They and they also to, don't want... I don't think they really even want to deal you know, with her living her life as a vampire. You know, Twilight didn't start with, with that character, Bella, going to, like preschool and then elementary school and then that's middle true. school she's just there on high school because first that's, day because yeah. that's what what's her uh stephanie yeah. meyer wanted to write right that's all she wanted to write. yeah yeah okay okay sure okay okay uh, uh all right so on to chapter two the transformation and truth blossoms pov true pain i felt his teeth sink into my neck he was a vampire I wanted to cry, but I didn't. I felt the venom go all over my body. Vampires normally poisonous? I guess they work in different ways based on well, how you're writing them. Yeah, you can make up whatever fucking rules you want. Yeah. By the way, you mean venomous, not poisonous. Oh, right. And I think she just means metaphorically venom, you know? Okay, just like yeah. stingy, bad feel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel the bad feel go around my body. Right. But yeah, yeah. It was painful. I screamed out loud. I didn't cry, but I did scream. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Bloss, I'm sorry. Brick said, hanging his head down. Why is he fucking sad? <laughs> You're gonna die. Yeah. I don't know. He's sorry that he made it painful? I guess. There's a non-painful way to become a vampire, but he I mean, didn't think he was able to This is something it. I never understood either. Like, if you're gonna write your own rules about being a vampire, you know, like, you're gonna make up how mm -hmm. you're gonna set vampire vampirism in your own universe you can change it up however you like well it's a secret right but why is it 
Like, it's a secret because most people don't know vampires exist. Presumably, because they never mentioned it in the show. Right. So, my thought is then, is it shameful to be a vampire? I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't think we've like, gotten there Because, like, he's yet. like, I'm sorry to the others. I'm sorry to Blossom. I had to do oh, it. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. like, is it a curse? Because it seems pretty nice. He can just do whatever he wants and... Like, nobody knew he was a vampire until just now. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, we'll we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll see. Brick said, hanging his head down, I saw that famous red cap of his. It's a me, Brick. <laughs> the Yahoo. <laughs> Wahoo. His hair was longer and still the same color. His eyes still the same crimson red. Not crimson. Crimson. This is cringesome. <laughs> yeah. Don't be... You said this is how I can escape my hurt while well, making me live forever with you makes me feel loved and surrounded, even if it's one person. Jesus. I said shakily. No, that wasn't shaky. Also, what the f- <laughs> You're still just announcing your feelings. Yeah. I feel welcomed back into life because you are here to make me live forever with you. <laughs> I had cancer and my sister and fa- my sisters and father abandoned me while well, my dad my father killed himself. Professor yes. X straight up offed himself. Well, no, Professor X is from X-Men. Professor oh, Utonium is from shit. <laughs> Right. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I, I, all that happened. And also, I have cancer, and I wanted to die. But now that I know you are a vampire, <laughs> and you made me immortal, and I can live with you forever, that is awesome. Yeah. That, yeah, this is awesome. This is great. Oh, uh, Why couldn't you have just told me beforehand? Yeah, you could literally could have said the words, I'm a vampire, and then bit me, and then I'd be like, okay, well, I'm more prepared Yeah, you could have come over and been like, hey, Blossom, I heard that you're family abandoned you and you have cancer uh, i'm a vampire and i can make you immortal and you can live with me forever yeah would you like to do that would you like to do that he could have done this way too long time ago <laughs> yeah hell he could have done this before they killed her yeah, he killed, yeah. killed himself or they ran away i mean yeah yeah Des- it doesn't have to become desperate times to yeah. call for that de- you know you could have had non-desperate times that could have called for non-desperate measures that's true but you wouldn't have a story well yet. Yeah, and, you wouldn't have a dark, edgy story. And also, we don't know. We still don't know whether being a vampire is a shameful thing. Right. Right. So maybe, maybe if Brick came over and you know revealed that, they'd Bloss- be like horrified. Blossom would have like turned him in for the prize money or something. You I think th- there's a prize? I don't know, dude. All right. Well, Pinky, when you wake up, you will be a monster. He said. But I'm awake. <laughs> he's literally he's speaking to her. She's awake. I don't know. Is she dozing off? Is she? Falling asleep from the vampire curse. Uh, hello, superhuman, but you know what? What? She asked. Huh? What? Wait. Whoa, wait. She asked. Did it go to Did it just Brick's switch to POV? Br- okay. <laughs> oh, no. Um. Okay, <laughs> so it just changed POVs. Oh, uh, but then Wait, it's... no, it switches back? Uh... Oh, <laughs> what I said, I'll just do Yeah, it. just do What I said, I'd rather be alive a monster than be without you in my life, I said. Who <laughs> said that could be either of them? Then I felt my eyes droop down and I fell asleep, not knowing what I will be like when I wake up. So that's definitely Blossom. That's Blossom. It's back to full. God damn it. <laughs> Woof. That How'd was you rough. goof that up? That was a speed bump right there. Oof, that was a wasn't g- ready for that. <laughs> Bricks POV. All right. As she fell into her sleep, I picked her up and ran through the forest, <laughs> missing the trees as I ran with my sweet... Yeah, I should hope so. <laughs> Hopefully. You know, if you didn't put that there, I'd assume you were hitting all the trees. Yeah, it's like, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. The trees smacked Blossom in the face over and over again. like smacking her head, smacking her feet, (laughs) smacking her head. Yeah. (laughs) Being a vampire meant I could run faster than I could fly. Okay. Wasn't there something like this in the Twilight books? Like Edward was carrying Bella through the forest? That that, that wouldn't surprise me. Um, I I don't remember. Didn't Bella try to kill herself at one point? Maybe. And Edward had to save her and such? That sounds familiar. Man, it's so sad that, like, the Twilight books are so old now that, like, we've forgotten the details in them. I mean, did you read them? No. Yeah, well, it would be pretty hard for you to forget something you've never read. <laughs> okay, but, you know, cultural osmosis. You yeah, I'm thinking, hear everyone else complain about that. I'm sure if, if this is all like a ripoff of Twilight, somebody will tell us in the, right. in the comments. Blossom's heart was violently beating. That means it wouldn't be soon before she was a newborn. Okay. God. 
God, fuck. <laughs> I saw the clearing of trees to see my house. What? I saw the clearing. I to live see. in a clearing of trees? I saw the clearing to see my house. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh-huh. It was a nice three bedroom, three <laughs> bath, and it was on 67 acres of land. Wow. He's got a home in the hills. Why is he is he selling it to us? Why is he telling us <laughs> how many bathrooms? Being a vampire are? sounds great. You get some farmland, you can raise some animals. Three if you bed, want. three bath is actually kind of a lot. I mean that means there's three full showers. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 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 Holy shit. Yeah. Not even two and a half bath. It's three it's bath. It's three bedroom, three bath. And sixty seven acres of land. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah. We owned horses and had... See? We owned horses and we had pretty much the most expensive of cars. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I ran into the house. I saw Buttercup and Bubbles staring at me. What? Oh. They're here. Why are they here? Um, because they are. I guess they all live together. Um, oh, yeah, Buttercup. What the hell? We told you not to get her involved. It's a good Buttercup. Yeah. Buttercup yelled. It's not the time to... St- <laughs> it's not the time to saying bullshit. Your sister tried to commit suicide. You are? You are? Sister. You are sister tried to commit suicide. And you told me to not get involved with her. She had fucking cancer. Fucking and all you cared about was your damn selves. <laughs> Bitch, I really need you to think. Because it's your fucking sister. Oh my god. And when she was dead, you would have been crying. So shut up! Wow. I Butch. yelled at her. No, that's Brick. <laughs> oh, Brick. Wow. <laughs> that that was fast. Uh, I yelled at her. Buttercup, shut up! Bubbles said before Buttercup could cuss back. Uh, I think it's Bubbles. Brick, let's go in the room. The room. The room. We lifted a secret panel in the floor. I jumped down and revealed a hospital-like room. Whoa! The whole room. The room is like a whole hospital. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I placed Blossom on the bed. <laughs> Buttercup, go find Butch and Boomer. I'll stay here with Brick and Blossom. Who's t- that's Bubble? She ordered. You jumped paragraphs. Please restate what character it is and don't just say she. Yeah. <sighs> Butter. By the way, if you're gonna, can you please just space out your dialogue? Yeah, as well. Don't hit the enter key only sometimes. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Buttercup, go find Butch and Boomer. I'll stay here with Brick and Blossom. She ordered. Buttercup flew out. Now, tell me why, she asked calmly. Why do you think? <laughs> she, You said she tried to kill herself. You know, even without the whole vampire angle, lots of people feel like killing themselves when they get cancer. That yeah, sucks. Yeah. It really sucks. So, like, do you really need an explanation? Yeah. And I, I mean, especially since it sounds like you... You abandoned your sister to go hang out with the Rowdy Rough Boys. Apparently. Who, at least one of them is a vampire. And you probably heard that your dad killed himself. That would be yeah news, yeah. I would think. I don't know how this isn't obvious. I told her what Blossom had been going through since they left. She cried at the part of the professor dying and Blossom having cancer. Did they not know? How didn't you know? <laughs> Wait, so you just left for no reason at all? Bye, Blossom and Dad. We're just... Buttercup and I are just gonna leave. We're just gonna fuck off. Yeah. I hate you, Dad and sister. Now come on. Other sister. No and reason. No reason. No given. reason. And then just no... You never talk to him again. This is like all those chipmunk stories where... Like, the chipmunks just abandon each other for no reason. Yeah. And then Dave kills himself, and then something yeah, like that. Yeah, what's... Did we... Uh, oh, no, you know what? That was fucking... Uh, that was... I, I miss, miss you so, so much, baby. baby. Yeah. yeah, where, like... What was it? Like, Simon became a doctor. Theodore became someone. Something. Yeah. Alvin... Alvin worked at a, a club. Cl- Alvin worked at a club. Brittany just left. Brittany had Leukemia. Leukemia. And everybody abandoned her. Yeah, and then everyone shit-talked her when she came back. 
That's true. They shit talked her when she came back. You Alvin, think they're gonna shit talk Bob uh, Blossom? I think I think it would be incredible if if Blossom ran into traffic. And, yeah, and, yeah. Oh shit! I'm already I'm already I've got parallels in mind. I'm geez. already looking forward. Are they going to shit talk Blossom for like having cancer and letting? Are we about to find out that not only is this story a ripoff of Twilight, but <laughs> I miss you so much, baby, was a t- ripoff of Twilight? I, I don't know. After dude. all these fucking years, I don't know, dude. Just replace leukemia with vampirism, and uh, <laughs> there you yeah. go. Well. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Chipmunk was great. Chipmunk was incredible. Yes. Well, she'll be cured. She'll have an almost happy life with us. Why didn't you do this before then? <laughs> she said. Butch, Boomer, and Buttercup came in. Uh, dude. Butch yelled. Don't even start! Bubbles hissed at them. They backed away. Ever since Bubbles became a vampire, she's been... She's been meaner. <laughs> what is going on? Buttercup, Boomer, and Butch piss her off. This is like the real world vampire edition. But I really don't get on her nerves unless she's had a bad day. Wait, why do you get on her nerves on purpose? <laughs> hey, Connor, are you having a bad day? Let me piss you off some more. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Like, you're having a good day? Okay, I'll leave you yeah, alone. Yeah, but, but, like, you're having a bad day? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, like, kick dirt on your shoes. Yeah. Like, drink the last Coke. You're like, what the fuck? Man, I'm, Come on, man. I'm such a good friend. I only piss you off when you're already pissed when off. you're already having a bad day. <laughs> like, hey, hey, bud, I, uh... Who, I, who? I tried to cook and I burned a whole bunch of shit in your pan. You gotta go clean it up. What? Come on, I just got a really bad day. I know, you texted me. That's why I burned the shit in your pants. Yeah, yeah. I checked to see how you were doing before I went to make lunch. If you were doing great, I would have cooked it well. But, yeah. But since you were kind of having a rough day, I made sure to screw yeah, it up. Connor's coming over. He gets sends me a text. He's like, uh, hey, man, having a really rough day. You want to watch something on, on TV afterwards? And I'm like, sure. And the like, next thing I do, I just go straight to the bathroom and just stuff a whole toilet paper roll down, yeah. down the toilet to clog it up. And I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> He's you like, read. what the fuck? The toilet's flooding. Why is it flooding? Because you told me you were having a bad day. <laughs> you... I didn't say that was on the prescription. I was just telling you what was going on in my life. You read from the text, I'm having a really bad day, and your eyes just light up. I'm like, oh boy, I've been waiting. Here I go. Yeah. Here I go. <laughs> Better go fuck it up some more. Who are these people? None of these, none of these characters are acting like people. They're vampires. Uh, okay. Everyone went silent as Blossom's heart violently started beating. She's almost done. Butch said, As we heard it beat harder and faster, we became silent and moving. So everyone went silent. Mm-hmm. Then he speaks, even mm-hmm. though he went silent. Mm-hmm. And then he goes silent. Then they really go silent, yeah. for real this time. All eyes went on her as we heard her final heartbeat. All eyes on me. Yeah. Dang. I miss you too, Pop. Dang. Rest in peace, man. Yeah. Blossoms POV. The pain! Oh, God! Uh, this is Bubbles. I Bubbles? Buttercup, shut up! I heard a Bubbles like voice. Brick, I'll assume it's Bubbles. Brick, let's go into the room! I felt as you felt ascendance. Wow. Oh, okay, so we're getting to see what happened oh, before. Okay, oh. cool. I felt as I was being carried down and placed on a bed. The pain began to get worse. My heart was starting to hurt me. Uh, now tell me why, she asked. He explained to her. I heard her tears. I heard her? What sound do tears (laughs) make? A sound imperceivable to humans, but But Vampires can hear like this sound as water comes out of your face. Yes. Yes. They have such hypersensitive hearing, they can hear tears. Oh my god. Yeah. You know, I, I when when I'm sitting in a room and nobody's talking and people are eating, I hate the sound of chewing, right? So, like, I hear chewing and I just feel like leaving, right? So, like, imagine if I were a vampire and I could hear the chewing then. And then you could hear, like, the stomach digest. Yeah, the stomach go... And then, like, you know, you can hear their eyes, like, moistening every Oof. time. Every time they blink, it's like... Like that's little... why vampires like don't blink, don't breathe, don't sweat or whatever because like that's why they won't shut the fuck up so they can talk over. Yeah, it. yeah. Like I'm blah 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 blah. You're t- you're eating blah blah. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. Blah 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 blah. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> well, she'll be cured. She'll have an almost happy life with us. She said, she said, I heard three pairs of feet land on the ground. <laughs> Dude. A butch-like voice yelled. It's similar to the voice I did earlier, but not, <laughs> but not, not quite. Don't even start! Bubbles hissed at them. Then everyone was silent. My heart began to violently beat against my chest. Do you really have to just copy-paste the whole fucking Well, thing? yeah, that's how you stretch out your story. Why didn't you just post it this way? I mean, we're getting literally the same information. Uh-huh. Told to us again. Uh-huh. With the pronouns changed. Uh-huh. <clears throat> She's almost done. It's good writing. Butch said, What does he mean done? Not a question. Then it started to beat harder than f and faster. Why not kill me now? Oh it hurt so god. bad until it beat for the last time. Oh my god. Is it over? Am I dead? I opened my eyes and saw a bright light. I flinched and looked over at everyone staring at me. It was Bubbles and Buttercup. But instead of being happy, <laughs> I felt my anger rising and I moved one finger. I think it was this one. Oh, yeah. that one? Yeah. Not the ring or the thumb. It's the one you put up when you don't give a fuck, when you won't just put up with the bullshit they pull. Because they're full of shit, too. Uh -huh. When the dude's getting bullied and shoots up at school and they blame it on Marilyn. No, oh, okay. I'm going to stop. Oh, I think that's Blossom's theme song right now. Yeah. yeah. Then I sprung at Buttercup. She screamed, and I was stopped by Brick, who wasn't strong enough. Then Butch and Boomer helped. It wasn't enough. Bubbles came and hugged me, allowing me to calm down. <laughs> oh, allowing it. Yes, yes. That's great. You are now able to calm down, Blossom. Ah, 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 ah. Hug of calmness! Yeah, it's yeah. like a spell. Yeah, yeah. You hug them, and you paralyze them enough to calm them down. Mm. Yeah. I dropped into Bubbles' arms. Shh, it's okay, Bloss. I'm here, she said. What the hell is wrong with you? Buttercup yelled. You, I yelled. You pulled Bubbles out the house, making me feel like I did something. You called me a selfish bitch when you left and made the professor go into a depression. He killed himself. I was the only daughter at the funeral. I made them just put me on the obituary, because I didn't want to be embarrassed. Then I lost the house, my dignity, and life, all because you didn't even care enough to write me or send anything. I was alone for two fucking years. Not two days. Months. Years, damn it. My own family wasn't there to see me graduate. I was homeless for months. This is my only outfit, and all you can ask is what the hell is wrong with me? Why don't you get a fucking clue? I yelled. Damn! Damn! Absolutely destroyed. <laughs> destroyed. Destroyed. <clears throat> Outplayed. Gotta say though, yeah. If Bubbles is so much meaner, why didn't she do anything about this in the intervening two years? Yeah. Maybe she only just became a vampire. Maybe she only just found out. Like we, the story only exists on the premise that. No one knew anything Bob Blossom was going through. Also, I, Blossom... I keep screwing up the names. Gr Blossom graduated what? Elementary school? <sighs> I, yeah, I High school? I don't what know. She, in, in the original show, wasn't she in, like, preschool or something? Uh, not maybe not preschool. I mean, they were kids. Yeah, but they had a toy phone that they, they got called on. Excuse me. If I had a toy phone... You know, I could have a cool enough toy phone that I want to get called I, on. I guess. But, yeah, like, I don't know. They're all... I don't know how anything works, okay? Like, Ever? Literally how anything works. At all? No, like, how does, like, clothes work, you know? Whoa. 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 <laughs> I don't know. It, it's, it's not the most important. They're kindergarten aged. Okay. Interesting, okay. It's not the most important. So they graduated thing. kindergarten. Wait, had them put me on the obituary? Yeah. So, like, is survived by Blossom? I guess, yeah. Okay. But just But I don't but understand. That's something I don't understand. Like, they're like, okay, well, I don't want, didn't want to be embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Who would be embarrassed by, like, it says, is survived by Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup? Everybody knows you. You're all famous. Maybe it's like she... If <laughs> Professor Utonium kills himself, he's not going to be in an obituary. He's going to have a full-page article about it. This is... This is... You know what? 
Yeah, it's exactly like Missy So Much Baby again, where somehow these characters aren't like the superheroes of the city of Townsville. They're just like random schmucks now or something. Yeah, I guess. Like no one cares about them. They're living like blue collar lives or something. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to see. Blue collar vampire lives. Right. Bubbles grabbed my hands. Blossom, let's go and wash you up. Get you in some better looking clothes and me and Brick will explain everything. So let's go. She said in a calm, shaky voice. Brick picked me up bridal style. I gave Buttercup the coldest look. She looked at me shocked and sadly. Looked sadly. Kind of worse. Okay. Well, she... If she looked sad, that implies that her face appears to be sad. Mm -hmm. But she looked sadly. The action of looking Mm -hmm. was sad. Okay. Okay. So, like, she might have a happy face. But her eyes are... No, not even that. It's not even a description of her face. It's that the act of her looking is sad. Oh. Somehow. Okay. I don't know how, but... I laid my head on Brick's shoulder as he carried me out the room. Buttercup's POV. I really want to know what Buttercup's explanation for this (laughs) is going to be. Yeah, what's your side of the story? Yeah. I looked at my sister who had a pink dress on with black flats. She had on the necklace that Bubbles and I gave her for our birthday. She kept it. This is a bad voice for Buttercup. This is an awful voice for Buttercup, but I love it. After Bubbles, Bloss, and Brick left, I looked at Butch and Boomer, who had the same shocked face. Buttercup, is that true? Boomer asked. Yes, I couldn't hold it in, I yelled. He shook his head and flew out the room. (laughs) BC, look, I'm not good with words, but you took it upon yourself to hurt her. It's your fault. You could have at least let her know that you still loved her. Butch said, leaving me alone in the room. I sat on the bed and leaned back looking at the light. I cut it off and just laid there. I was so upset. I did that. I'm really an horrible sister. Really? Really an horrible writer. (laughs) I don't understand. So she doesn't have a side to the story, then. No. We have an opportunity to see her side of the story, she, and all that happens is she goes, Huh, I did that? She, I saw it. She disputed <laughs> none of what Blossom said. She just said, Oh, man, I yelled at her and I made her sad. I Dang. can't believe I did that. I like, what do you mean you can't believe? <laughs> she said you called her a bitch. Brick brings Blossom back, tells you guys that, like... She tried to kill herself and such, and, like, she's turning into a vampire. Because I presume by this point you all are vampires. Yeah, I think so. And your first thought is, like... What the fuck is wrong with you? what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. What is wrong with you, Buttercup? You am really an horrible sister. You am really an horrible sister. Wow. That's not who I am kind of thing, you know? That's not who you am. Yeah. Well, that was the end of Chapter 2. On I'll Live Forever With You, Blossom got turned into a vampire, and there's some crazy drama. This is like the real world vampire edition, like I said. Buttercup is apparently a huge bitch. Yeah. And didn't realize she was being a huge bitch. Yeah, somehow. Oh, how could you let me do that? Oh, no. So, uh, make sure to join us next time when we go to chapter three of I'll Live Forever With You. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to come join our public Discord server, link in the description, to chat with us and other cool people, as well as to request stories and other works for us to cover. You can also send us links to your requests via email, Twitter, or just leaving them in the comments section below with your thoughts on this video. Take care!